Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Void Reaper here today as always guys and welcome to the new tutorial of NBE. I hope you guys are ready for this just as I am. So this is going to be covering the October update, the brand new version of NVE. I know I'm a couple days late, obviously, and I'm sure the November update is going to be out by the time this is all said and done. But I just want to make sure I can get a some sort of updated video out to you guys. I just got the October update downloaded on my PC. Have been very, very, very behind with NVE stuff. But let's get right into this tutorial. And once again, guys, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into this. All right, so I have the 5M package extracted on my desktop here, as you can clearly see, you know, right, beautiful right there. So we're going to go ahead and get into this mod tutorial installation, whatever you want to call it. So basically what you're going to want to do is find your 5M as always. You're going to go, you know, the easiest way for you just to search it in the windows and go to open file location, and then you'll get a shortcut probably. Then you right click that and hit open file location and boom, there you go. 5M application data folder. Look at that. We found it. We are already on a great start. So now you're going to click through this and you're going to want to go to your mods folder as you can see all of these nve files are in here and i'm going to show you guys really quick just so you guys know i'm going to unclick that we're going to hit delete on that so my mods folder is empty and that's the big thing with this is you want to make sure your 5m is clean no other mods and everything else so we're going to go ahead and now we're going to open this 5m package so you're going to click out of any sort of pop up whatever that is so you're gonna move on to main package you're gonna go to mods and you're gonna copy all of these files into your 5m mods folder so after it kind of goes through all of that it's gonna be I it's gonna take a little bit but when this is all extracted it'll be in your mods folder and all that will be in there and then we can move on to the next step of this so as you can see in my mods folder beautiful fantastic you know works fine it's in there now what you're going to do is you're going to go back, hit this little dot thing, go back, go back again, and you're going to want to go to optional add-ons. So this is where you can install anything your heart desires. If you want enhanced motion blur, go right ahead. If you want, you know, if you want custom roads, you want darker nights, everything like that, go right ahead. I'm going to put in what I like most of all with NVE and like the optional add-on section. So we're going to go to brighter emergency lights. We're going to go to high intensity and we're going to go to NVE brighter high intensity. And you're going to want to drag and drop that into your mods folder like so. It's just easier just to have it kind of sticking out like that. So you can just drag and drop it really quick. So you want to go back and go back and you want to go to roads overhaul pack. The number three, as you can see right here, roads overhaul pack. You want to drag and drop that in there. Nice and simple. It's going to take a little bit because it's a big file. There you go. It's in there. Now, the next thing what you want to do is if you want darker nights, darker nights is a new feature that NVE added a couple updates ago. I personally like I recommend it, but honestly, it's not my favorite kind of thing. So if you would like to, you can. If not, go ahead and skip darker nights. I'm not going to put darker nights in because I kind of like NVE's nights and I think that's what makes it really really beautiful and really stand out is the nights but you know if you want to put darker nights in go right ahead but we're going to go to vanilla unicorn interior we're going to drag and drop that in for the custom vanilla unicorn because obviously uh mission row police department um if you're playing on a 5m server that has a custom mission row it will not work but uh for mine profit we don't have a custom mission row put in i don't believe so i'm going to go ahead and put in the mission row overhaul thing and if you want if you want northern lights at night in blaine county go right ahead that is completely up to you and if you want the ha halloween update you know christmas content go right ahead but if you don't want anything else go ahead and uh back out of that and we're gonna go over to the enb required so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go on to you know your file explorer you know whatever you want to do we need to go into some sort of file explorer i recommend just going to like you know desktop really quick or something you know something nice and simple just to get this done so you're going to go down to your this pc to windows you're going to, want to go to program files 86 and you want to go down to steam then go down to your steam apps common gta 5 okay that's one way to get there as well i don't have steam open right now and quite frankly it's just annoying to do so uh that's one way to get there you can also go to your steam like i've shown in previous tutorials but you see i have enb series installed here like i said guys i'm gonna go ahead and def and delete all the files that enb needs so we're so it could just so you guys can see 
plain 5M, everything else, just so you guys can follow along with me. Once you have your Grand Theft Auto V folder open, you're going to want to go over to the 5M package and you're going to hit ENB and where it says required, because obviously it makes the mod work. You're going to want to go to these files right here and as well as shader input. So shader input is a new feature in ENB this time around. So basically what shader input is, is like there's a lot of new shaders in ENB. I don't know if it's optional or not. We can go ahead and try it without optional, but right now I'm going to put it in there just to make sh make life easier. Shader input is a new feature for this update. There's a lot of new shaders that were added to uh, the N NVE mod in ENB. So you want to drag and drop all of these files into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory folder like so and then boom it's gonna magically appear look at that we did it so congratulations everybody you have installed nve like always but i'm gonna keep all these folders open you can actually close out of your file and application data folder when you install enb but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in game with the enb preset with the medium preset i should have said so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that really quick and if you guys want to add more enb features like i've done in recent past i have another EMB script or an EMB factor for you guys to download and install. So stay tuned for that if you want to add another EMB to it. But without further ado, I will see you guys in game to show off EMB. So yeah, this is what the game looks like with the new shader in. Um, honestly, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, I like it. Uh, not my favorite, obviously, because I have other ways for everybody to know uh, moving forward. But so I will warn you very, very quickly the shader is super super hard on your computer like it's very very hard like i would not recommend putting this in honestly i would probably just use the regular emb files and take out the shader because the shader kills fps like that it, even worse than enb fps so i would strongly recommend taking the shader out and then putting in the enb but with this is with the shader in it honestly gives you more detail overall um but yeah it's like killing my my recording and all my pc stuff so i recommend not using the shader unless you have like a beast pc um but yeah so that's my advice let's go ahead and i'll show you guys how to install the monster killer preset that i've always used in my videos so we're gonna go into uh the shader input we're gonna go ahead and delete the shader input just so it's not in my files anymore this preset is actually really really nice as many of you know um is the monster killer preset i love 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 this preset i have other stuff that i want to do with his preset later down the road but so Without further ado, let's go into the description. If you guys go into the description down below, there'll be a download link to this mod. And so what I want you guys to do is go over to this download link. And let me pull. We'll go ahead and pull it up on the screen here. Here we go. So if you drag it to your desktop, I already have it installed, obviously. But so it's the Monster Killer EMP preset. It's going to be a WinRAR file. And I will leave the link to it in the description as always. But so you're going to go into the Monster Killer ENB. Now what is big and i cannot express this enough to you guys listen to this part like flash it like th listen okay listen to this part of the video okay so this is the biggest thing here so when you want to download and install this preset you're going to want to have only three files to install three files and i mean it three files you're going to want to go to enb series you can hit left control so you can highlight these files you're going to want to install this file enbseries.ini and enblocal.ini and I know there's going to be a couple people that are going to comment on this video saying oh this file doesn't work like oh. it works but no so we're going to go ahead and have these three files in here and like I said have your GTA 5 folder still open so you're going to copy all these you know open this and boom going to ask you to replace your files go ahead and hit replace and look at that You've done it. You've installed ENB, my ENB that I use, EM, uh, Monster Killers ENB. Absolutely beautiful. And I will go ahead and show you guys that really quickly. Alrighty, we have made it. We have installed the mod. Look at that, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and teleport over to, like, I don't know, probably the county or something. Because I think the county looks beautiful in this mod. So we'll go ahead and TP over to the county here and we will get something installed here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. So there's a lot. I feel like this preset gives you a lot more smoothness overall, a lot more steady FPS, I want to say. Um, I really, really like it. It makes life just a lot easier for me. Um, 
especially like if you have a lower end PC, I seriously, if you have a lower end PC, I would install this preset. That's what I've been saying for a long time. It looks so beautiful. Like you will not go wrong with it. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, spawn in my uh, 5PD character. So uh, I am actually in a 5PD server community, whatever they are called now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and spawn in a Metro uniform. There we go. Beautiful. So there you go. You can see what a, what a uniform looks like as well. Um, kind of how it looks. I know it's dark and it's kind of weird looking right now because it's in the morning. I uh, just spawned into the server. So it looks a little weird, but you know, it's overall, it looks good. I like it. You know, I've always liked this and I'm really, really excited to have the new update in. But so I will go ahead and spawn in a car for you guys. In case you want to know what a fire truck looks like, here you go. <laughs> I mean, the lights on it look awesome though. I will say like the lights just in general with ENB look amazing i mean i just i cannot like get over how good they look overall this mod has made a lot of changes overall and it just it looks beautiful no matter what oh we have a car here oh cool i don't know whose car it is but we'll no come back i need to borrow your car <laughs> come back i need to borrow your car no come back i need to borrow your car come back <laughs> come back i need to borrow your car it's an ai but i need to borrow the car <laughs> here's here's how the lights look though just so you guys are aware but anyway, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy the installation of NVE and Monster Killers preset and all just the October update in general. But I hope you guys did enjoy overall. If you guys have any questions, like I said, all the time, be sure to join the Discord server and ask your questions. There'll be a link down in the description down below. And go ahead and join that so you can talk to me and ask some questions. But as always, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, go follow my Twitch. If you want to see more content of me, subscribe to here and ring that notification bell if you are new here. And also go check out my links go check out the merch store go check out mix energy if you guys want to get some energy for you guys so without further ado i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video take care everybody